What's up, Chaotic Crew? It's your favorite semi-aquatic mammal, Chaos Otter. And in this spell break video, we're discussing belts! To start, in the comments here, we have the student belt, which has a 5% incoming damage decrease. Next, we have the uncommon tier, which has four belts. The belt of runic speed, which decreases rune cooldown by 10%. The armored belt, which increases your max armor by 100 points. The reinforced belt, which increases armor gained when drinking an armor potion by 100%. And the belt of constitution, which raises your max health by 25. In the rare tier, we have a whopping five belts. Starting with the belt of fire and ice, which decreases incoming fire and ice damage by 30%, the belt of lightning and poison, which decreases incoming lightning and poison damage by 30%, the belt of earth and wind, which decreases incoming earth and wind damage by 30%, could you have guessed that? The belt of regeneration, which allows you to gain three HP every four seconds until your full health, and the belt of runic speed, which allows for one additional rune use. If you want to be OP as fuck, the epic tier belts will help get you there. There are three belts in this tier. The belt of the scribe, after rune use, incoming damage is lowered by 95%. The impenetrable belt, which means all incoming damage is lowered by 20%, and the slacking belt, <laughs> which raises potion drinking speed by 50% and raises healing effects by 100%. And for the sweaty tryhards among us, we have legendary tier belts. The behemoth, which raises your max armor by 100, your max health by 25, and your max rune usage by one. And the belt of runic frenzy, which raises rune usage by two and lowers rune cooldown by 20%. And so concludes our talk of belts. May your pants never fall down. Click that like if you're hyped for more Spellbreak content. Subscribe if I made you chuckle. And remember, chaos is life and chaos is love. Otter out.